from 1911 on, uh, we've been making syrup on this farm. My great uncles, my grandfathers, and then my, then my father and his brothers sugared. I've been sugaring all my, uh, all my life. The best, the best syrup, I might say, was, uh, according to the uh, Wall Street Journal, is made uh, in the granite soils of New Hampshire. We've won the uh, state, uh, best in the state uh, syrup for five years. I, I believe it's more than any other sugar house uh, in the state. When spring time temperatures are right, the sugar comes down, up and down, and uh, we catch it. All, all over, all over, the other producers uh, feel more or less the same as I, that something has happened. Once the weather gets warmer, uh, sugaring kind of comes to an end. Years ago, I remember we'd, we'd get heavy fr uh, ground freezing. Uh, this year, for instance, in 2009, uh, around here the ground never froze. The syrup season would last longer if you had freezing nights and, and thawing days in the 40s. I remember when the maples really, really looked nice uh, back in the 40s, 50s. Uh, Today, they don't look anywhere near as healthy. I read a lot about the polar bears in the, in the Arctic uh, losing their homes. Uh, uh, the ice is melting, the glaciers are falling into the ocean, the, the sea is rising, maybe not very much. The, the climate, actually the weather has warmed. And I've read articles where by at least 2050, there won't be any more maple trees in New Hampshire or anywhere uh, this side of Canada anyway. I, 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 just, I, I just hope that uh, we can continue on our lifestyle as we have in the past uh, in future generations. Mm -hmm.